News 11's Erica Blatt joins us live in the studio with the story of two people who survived brain tumors and found love. Last year, more than 22,000 Americans were diagnosed with a brain tumor, a rare condition that affects less than 1,000 Pennsylvanians in just 50 residents in Lancaster County. Many times, tumors go undiagnosed for months because the signs can get confused with common issues like headaches. 50% of people have headaches with brain tumors, but many people who don't have brain tumors have headaches as well. They always happen in the same location. In fact, they usually happen where the tumor is located. And another characteristic of brain tumors is that uh, brain tumor headaches is that they're more often severe at night when a person is lying flat. Uh, the pressure in the brain is higher. When a person stands up during the day, the pressure drops and the headache gets a little bit better. But that wasn't the case for Lauren Halter. Her symptoms came on fast and strong, and she was diagnosed with a medulloblastoma on her cerebellum when she was 18. I didn't believe it at first. Like, I thought tumor, well, I'm just going to get an operation and it's going to be done and over with. And I remember my first onset of the symptoms was I was walking down on the sidewalk going to my class and I just noticed myself starting to drift towards the sidewalk and like kind of off the ledge and I'm like whoa what's going on like I felt like I was drunk or something. Only 30 percent of patients diagnosed with a brain tumor survive and recover but Lauren is one of the lucky ones. Her cancer has been in remission since March 2011 but she lucked out in another way too. The cancer led Lauren to her boyfriend John Sangri, a survivor of the same type of tumor. He had me Facebook mes messaged me and asked me how I was doing and if I wanted to meet up and that's just kind of how everything started, sparked and everything. I can't get enough of her because she, she, she's more of my friend than even my girlfriend and hopefully someday my wife. She, she connects on me on more than level. She understands sometimes what I go through that other and no one else could understand. John and Lauren have been together for three years and are studying at Millersville University. They both say they're grateful to be alive and ask anyone who suffers major headaches or other symptoms to not underestimate the pain. Have an MRI as soon as possible. In Lancaster, Erica Blatt, News 11.